Welcome once more to the 1996 USDF National Dressage Symposium. On every tape in this series, Michael Poulin, Robert Dover, Jessica Ronshausen, and Hilda Gurney have stressed that all advanced work must be grounded on correct basics. This theme continued into the FEI work with the flying changes. Now, Jessica Ronshausen carries the same idea through to canter pirouettes. The idea here is to use the square or the rectangle to help you compress the horse and to balance him a little bit more onto his hindquarter. In using this movement, we don't want to get the horses stuck and thinking backwards. We want to keep the horses thinking forward, moving forward and up and forward around the turn. Now that doesn't mean that you use the turns dropping the horse and allowing him to fall more and more on the forehand and through the aid of the rider. You're wanting to use those sharper turns to keep the horse lifting up and coming more under and balancing better behind. So the movement really facilitates what you're trying to achieve. And Lisa now is showing you the movement and what you want to do is at first you can make your corners as she is doing a little bit more rounded so that they're a little more like a half circle. And as the horse gets better and better at it, you make your corners a little bit more pronounced, which she is doing now. Then you can either narrow down your turn, which she is doing, and making it between two letters, or Lisa, go ahead and use a little more distance, this time over on this side. Use a little more distance and ride a little bit more your medium canter in between so that you have a turn, a nice forward medium type canter back to the collection and back to the turn so that all of this is begins to get fluid and soft and easy for the horse. This is a normal natural kind of a movement and exercise to help you achieve that balance where you want it to be. So the length, the width, and the degree of forward or the degree of collection should be played with. This should be a fun exercise, something that is fun to ride, fun to do, and interesting for the rider. Another exercise that you'll probably want to practice will be cantering and shortening the stride straight ahead. And we saw that with Lisa as she prepared for her turns on the long side. As the horse is beginning to come to the point where you want your half pirouette on the diagonal or if you're practicing them on the center line, remember that you want to begin with a small inner bend. Now that inner preparation is also with the idea that if you need to encourage the horse with your inner leg, that is a good time to do so, to encourage him to raise his shoulder, to raise his front leg, and to be able to prepare for that part of the turn. So there you have your inner bend, your horse cantering with the front end jumping nicely up but keeping the idea of the forward motion and you have to remember that for the horse to balance around the turn he has to be able to make those short strides that he did straight ahead he has to be able to make those same short strides in the turn so it's important for the rider to remember that with his seat and hips, you want to keep riding the same kind of nice, short stride. So that when you're coming to your half pirouette, you're not all of a sudden doing nothing here. And if you do nothing here, I promise you get nothing there and you probably get nothing there either. 
So you, you, you have to keep riding the continuity of what you're creating before you start. As you're riding that shorter stride, your eyes are probably one of the most important parts of your body because if your eyes are looking there, when you intend to go there, guaranteed you will not go there. <laughs>